Hello and welcome to our channel Webways. In this video, we're going to be doing a short tutorial on the capacities.io platform. Please watch this tutorial to the end to properly understand it. All right, now to get to capacities.io, simply go to your web browser and type in capacities.io and it should bring you to a screen similar to this one. Now the capacities platform is a platform that helps you to stay organized and productive. Now it helps you to take down notes, to store your content, to plan your day, to plan your workflow. It's just a management and productivity tool of some sort. All right. So on the very screen here, you can see what it says. It says next level note taking. Let's scroll down to see what it says. Note structure like your brain. So it helps you to say goodbye to folders and tables and helps you to create a network of your thoughts. If you scroll further down, you would see other things that it helps you achieve. You, it helps you to create people, book summaries, questions. It helps with a lot of things like editing, full text search, import and export. There's a lot that the capacities platform helps you to achieve. You can set up notes for every day, organize your life, create a workflow and view the workflow that you have created. So you can store daily activities, weekly overviews, monthly overviews, and even templates. You can also create beautiful dossiers. You can save ideas when you have them using beautiful and powerful blocks. So once you scroll down, you will see everything that you can achieve with the capacities.io platform. All right, so let's take a quick tour. If we go to use cases. You would see examples of how other people have used the capacities platform. All right, so you can just tap on any one of them to see how they work. And then if you see the frequently asked questions can help you if there's something you're confused about on the capacities platform, the frequently asked questions can help you with the answers to them. And let's quickly look at pricing. There are three tiers of pricing for the capacities platform. There's the free plan, there's the capacities pro, which is for professionals. And it's not yet here, it's coming soon. And so you can join the waiting list. And then there's the capacities believer, which is for supporters. And you can become a believer as they have stated here. And you can read down to see all of the features on the capacities believer pricing plan, which starts from $10 a month. But the free plan is sufficient for you to use or for you to get started with. So let's see some of the features on the free plan. You have unlimited spaces, objects, and blogs, synchronization across all devices, unlimited custom content types, full support for import, export, and backups, unlimited media storage, intelligent global content search, and you can even save content from WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, or email. And you can even share content to the web. And there's so much more that you can do on the capacities free plan. All right, so you can scroll down to see more. Now for a link to the website and further discounts, please click the link in the description below. So the next step is to register on the capacities platform by simply tapping on the register button. And if you already have an account, you can log in using your email and your password, or you simply tap on register to create a new account from scratch. So we're going to tap on register. I have filled in my email and I've put in a password, which they say is strong, and I'm going to tap on register. All right, and then it says, welcome to capacities. It's great to have you on board. In the next steps, we'll guide you in setting up capacities. So they're going to guide you step-by-step step in setting up your capacities account. So simply tap on next, and then they're going to say, let's create your profile. Let's sh um, share your name with us. Make this makes communication much easier. So you just simply put in your name and your last name. 
Just follow the steps as they guide you. All right, so capacity is a powerful tool, but it might not work like the tools you know. Let's briefly introduce the three fundamental pillars of capacities. Notes don't live in folders. Everything is an object and all you do is connected to time. And so we go to next. Notes don't live in folders. So you can take your time and read up what all of the steps that they are guiding you through. There are no folders in capacities. Content gets organized by tagging, linking, and can be found through its connections and search. So once you are able to follow these steps as a guide, you will have a fair knowledge of how the capacities platform works. So we're quickly going to swipe through. Okay, and it says select your first object. Pick what connects to you and your work. You can customize them later and add more at any point. So you can select your first objects, maybe books, people, meetings, Zettels, projects, organizations, right? And it says one step left and you're ready to go. And this is a very important step. You need to verify your email address by going to the email that you put in when signing up in order to receive the verification mail so that you can verify from there. So we're going to go and verify our email address, all right? Okay, so this is the mail from Capacities. We just tap on it and tap on verify your email address and it's verifying. Now it says successfully verified. So we're going to tap on open app, right? So we'll just tap on open app there. And we're good to go. So we'll tap on let's go. If you look at the left-hand side, you will see the different menus that you can work with on the Capacities platform. Now you can create new spaces for every single item or project that you want to be working on. So simply tap here and you'll be able to create a new space. Just tap on it and then go home and you would see your spaces and you'll be able to create new spaces. Currently I have two spaces on the capacities platform. And you see what it says here. It says spaces are the largest units to organize content in capacities. It corresponds to a specific topic or use case you want to use capacities for. So to create a new space, just simply tap on new and then give it a name. So I would say collaboration. Let's say I'm working on a product or something with somebody else. I can just tap on create space. And then my space has been created. And then I can add new content to my space by just tapping on new content on the left-hand side here, tap on new content, and I can add a page, I can add an image, I can add a web link, I can add a Twitter tweet, I can add a PDF file, I can even embed an audio and play audio files here. So let's say I want to add a new page. I'll just tap on page and I'll be able to add a new page. And this page is going to be under the space that I just created, which I called collaboration. So let's give it a title. I can call it um, Project A, right? So I can call it Project A. And if I hover over it for a while, you would see I can customize the title by adding an icon. I can add a description. I can add even a cover image. Okay, I can, I, I can switch this to a wide layout. So if I want to add an icon, I just tap on add icon and I'll be able to get icons, right? So I can select any icon from, from here. No, no, no. The icons are for the believer plan. So I'll stick with emoji. I can just select one from here and I'll add it, right? So I'm going to, this is added to my project and I can add a description. Let's say um, project to be done with Mr. A, okay. If I hover over it, I will continue to see customization 
options. I can also add a cover image. I can upload, I can add a link. I can also get from Unsplash. I can also drag and drop. So I'm going to select a file, just tap on upload and it should take you to your um, gallery on your device and you'll be able to add a file or a picture. Let me just select a very um, random picture. Okay, I'm going to use this just for the purposes of this tutorial. Just tap on open and you would see the picture right here. If I hover again, I can switch this to a wide layout. It moves it to the left and gives me more space or I can just leave it at normal layout. So this is how you can customize your space. Now you can also just press on the screen here and you'll be able to add whatever else you want to add. You can see the plus icon here. So I can just add, tap it and say plus and I'll be able to add whatever else I want to add on this space. All right, so it's pretty simple to use. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this tutorial. I'll see you in the next.